Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build Stindustry Oil Platform Part 2. So we're back at the oil platform and today we're going to be looking at the living quarters. Every oil platform in the world has workers to operate all the complex machinery, all the gadgets and high-tech shizzle whizzle that you'll find aboard one of these steel behemoths. So, top of our list is an area where these guys can, you know, have beds, sit down, sleep, eat, and do all the things that basically they need to do to stay alive aboard one of these oil platforms. It's not the only thing that we're going to be doing. We've still got to make the oil pump itself, a tank area for both the oil and the fuel, a combustion engine bay to power our oil platform, and of course a refinery section to actually refine the oil that we dig up. So without further ado, let's get on with making the living quarters of our oil platform. Now I wanted to use some of the space that we've got underneath our oil platform, especially around the central hole where the oil well itself is. So what I've done is I've come down here with iron blocks and then I've had to go one iron block lower than the scaffold because scaffold won't stay in the air with nothing underneath it. And you saw a few scaffold breakages there at the start where I was trying to get things in place and it wasn't quite working. So once I'd come down about four blocks, I think, I, I netted off the, the wall around the central square area with some fence and then added an outside hallway with glass here. There's some decoration around the bottom there with a kind of upside down crenellation effect on the iron blocks and I filled that area in, in between those with fences. And you see me there as well coming down with wooden steps and using reinforced glass as decoration for the windows on those uh, galleyways that we've got underneath the main platform itself. Then I opened up a square, or maybe that's a rectangle, on the platform itself. And this is going to be a small living area directly underneath the platform. This hooks up to the galley in the middle. I thought about using wood there, but then I changed my mind and used machine blocks. I changed this a couple of times because proportions just weren't right and I had to calculate in my head where things were going because I wanted to, I wanted to steer away from iron blocks as much as I could. We had to be careful not to spam too much of a certain block type and we were in danger definitely of using too much iron blocks. So I hold out that area you see down at the bottom there and decided that that area was going to be some of the living quarters as well as most of it being topside. Made a mistake there with the wall, but fixed it. Came back around here and I used iron scaffolds as the framework for the building here. And then iron blocks as the walls themselves with reinforced glass again as the windows. I like reinforced glass because it gives a nice thick dark blue border to the glass. As you can see here, there's the bit which extends beneath the platform and the segment that extends above it. Now we're going to go one floor higher than you see here. So in total it's going to be a three floor residential area, complete with canteen, bedrooms and uh, I don't know, maybe a pool table, big TV. We need to make sure that the guys of industry and the women can relax and, and take it easy, get some R&R in between their shifts. And then with the bottom area done, I came up to the second level and started to put down the walls. This is going to be the canteen and that, 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 that thing you see there is the doorway to the kitchen. And then I used machine blocks here to add the floor to the second floor. I came up with scaffolds you see here at the edge because I needed gangways, walkways outside the living quarters so that people could get to the second level without having to go through the middle or the bottom. So I came up with iron scaffolds with the struts you see here and put the gangways in. Then I filled in the gaps between them and I think I used, yeah, there we go, iron fences for the walkways. Now you see me here deleting the scaffold because iron fences don't interact very well with iron scaffolds. So what I used was 
iron blocks in cross kind of shapes at the areas where the scaffold met the walkway and you see here the crosses because the iron fences hook up to those iron blocks and it looks much neater. We still need a way to light these walkways because it's quite dark on top of the oil platform itself. So we're going to have to think about using lamps perhaps. So I came up here, finished the framework for the next level of the building, filled it in with iron blocks as you can see here, and left space again for more windows. Again reinforced glass because I like the thick navy look that surrounds it. Added some iron, uh, iron bar, iron fence decoration to the top and then you see me panning over the top here because I'm mapping out the floor. Those gaps in the wall there are the door gaps and these are going to be the rooms on the top level of the living quarters. Quite small, quite compact but we're out here on, on the ocean and there's not much space to be spared so these guys have got to take get what they're given and, uh, and live where they can. I linked up with iron scaffolds, the top level of the walkways, and I added yellow lamps in here, put down some redstone wire, a couple of hatches to get to the roof, a couple of redstone torches, and then I hooked up the lamps one by one, so the walkways were well lit. But that's not all we're doing today, we're going to come out here on the right of the platform and build a helipad. So it was back to our old friend, the Minecraft Circles picture, to pick a decent sized circle. I filled it in with uh, white wool here, mapped the edge with black wool, but I wasn't happy with the black wool, it just didn't seem to look right, so I replaced it with machine blocks and carved out a big H. Plonked down red lamps for the H because I want the H to light up at night so when helicopters come down they can see exactly where they've got to go. Mapped out some struts with machine blocks wasn't quite happy with how they interacted with the with the supports to the platform itself though, so I redid them and added some wooden scaffold as bracing. And here you see the H light up. I then came around the edge of the helipad with iron fences. These are essential of course for making sure that the dumb CEOs that land on the helipad don't wander off into the ocean, as we all know they're prone to do. I left a gap at the top, of course, so that you can get up to the helipad via the stairs that I left there at the top. And here you see the Sipsco Chopper, the, the best way, the classiest way, the most stylish way for CEOs to get to the oil platform and land on the helipad. And that brings us to the end of this week's Let's Build. It's been a really fun episode to build. The living quarters took up more space than I'd envisioned in my head, which is actually a good thing. Before I'd built this, I was, I was slightly concerned that we'd left ourselves too much space on the platform and we're going to have trouble filling in all the gaps, but it looks like things are slotting in perfectly. The plan next is to add a crane at the corner the other side of the living quarters, something to load the freight ships with, uh, with goods and oil. And then after that, we have to go on to the, to the main meat of the platform. The pump itself, oil and fuel tanks, an engine bay to, to power all of the machinery, on our oil platform and of course the refinery chamber to refine the oil itself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's episode as much as I have. I had a lot of fun building this, I think I already told you. And I hope you go away with some cool ideas for your own TechIt servers and your own TechIt worlds. And I hope I gave you some cool ideas for what you want to do with oil that you found on your worlds. I've been Stjin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and or favourite if you enjoyed the episode and want to see more. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time when we get busy on the pumping system itself. Take care.